Hey, we're heading over to uh, meet someone about a guitar. Got Jim's guitar. There it is, right there. Let's see if we can uh, get a pickup installed. Hello, and welcome back to the James Monahan channel. Today, we have something a little different for you. Jim has this classical nylon string guitar that he really loves. He can tune it down several half tones and get a really nice sound. And it just works well with his vocal range. The problem is it doesn't have a pickup and so he can't easily use it for live performances. So in this video, we head over to Westside Guitar Shop to talk with expert luthier Mike Neshimbeni about installing a pickup. Westside Guitar Shop is located in West Springfield, Massachusetts. Down along the Westfield River and right next to the railroad tracks is the old Southworth Paper Mill. This is where you can find the Westside Guitar Shop. Mike is always super friendly and he gives us a tour of his wood shop. This is where the painting and the sawdust and all that happens. I keep it away from the electronics. Yeah. Drill press from uh, the 50s, probably. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not going to paint it the traditional black. Then he shows us around the studio. It's a wide open space full of interesting instruments, equipment, and tools. Oh, somebody painted it. This is one of my favorite. I love the translucent, like, emerald green. So, anyway, so this is a 1963 Harmony that my wife Susan got at, a, at an auction. And then when I got it about 10 years ago, it looked like it was brand new. I've totally uh, destroyed it. And doesn't look new anymore. <laughs> no. Like, but anyway, I love it. And um, the thing is about it, I can tune it down to C. Oh, okay. You know, so I can, I can tune it down to... Of course, out of tune, but it sounds nice. But but anyway, I can tune it down to C, and the problem is, if you put a pickup on it, it doesn't doesn't work. You know, you try the stick-on pickups and everything else. Yeah. And and what I what I've what I've seen on most of the like the other guitar I brought, it has a thing here, you know, that's installed in there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And um, of course, it doesn't have a thing to put your strap on. You know, there's no... Ah, it's easy. That's so <clears> true. <throat> I, I need something there. What I was kind of looking for is one with the battery that, you know, that the, um, you know, that plugged in and... Right, you know right. I mean? it, and it'll, they, they'll pretty much end up looking like, uh, like that Yeah, there. like that, like that. That's what I'm, that's okay. what I'm looking for. And yeah, that, that's not too difficult to install. Okay. It does, don't let anybody who's not experienced with woodworking do it because mm -hmm. they'll split your <laughs> right. guitar yeah. open yeah so but. that's you know something that, that's you know for the plastic strings you know the you know yeah. something that would work on that but we try we tried many different pickups and you know it just doesn't doesn't want to work you know okay so this yeah, is, you've definitely played that thing yeah yeah i've really that's you great sweat stains, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> you know when i play when i played you know performed out it no, my the sweat just uh, you know I put stuff on it, made a mess yeah. of it, trying to clean it, but that's character. Yeah, it looks yeah. like the lacquer is uh, yeah. coming out. I don't know. Did you use some kind of chemical here or no? Just just a cleaner of some sort. So huh. all right. But I yeah. don't, whatever you could do to if you want to you know try to restore it a little bit, it'd be nice, you know. Yeah, that, that would be a big project. Yeah. But I can I can spruce it up a little. You give know. you an estimate if yeah. if you'd like. But okay. You ever seen uh, uh, Willie Nelson's guitar? Yeah, that's that's he, his, yeah. Okay. Some almost looks like this, but <laughs> yeah, he yeah. has um, uh, Stu Mac, Stuart mm -hmm. McDonald, exclusively mm -hmm. repair his guitar. I mean, mm -hmm. there's the, on the end, there's yeah. stuff bolted in mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. Is he he really he puts wear and tear on that thing, but keeps going. Mm -hmm. Can always keep him going. Yeah. I've actually somebody broke a headstock off of a Les Paul, an old Les Paul. Mm -hmm. And I was able to glue it back on, make mm -hmm. it functionally. It wasn't, per you could still see a little seam, because I mean, it snapped clean off, mm -hmm. but playable. Yeah, so if they could get it set up and whatever, you know, the, the okay. deck and everything, yeah. you know. Do you want to talk, like, how's the action, like, do you think you need a setup on it, or what? Yeah, well, 
Let's not rely on my naked eye. <laughs> so this, I don't know if you can zoom in on that, yep. but that, that's perfect right there. Six string, and it's a little, oh, I need, to, I need to get it to sit right. It's a little high, just, it's still in the acceptable range, but if you're really picky, um, you could, I could sand down the bottom side of, uh, or I'm sorry, the, the bottom of the treble side of the bridge saddle, and that would make it sit a little more, it, it would make the bridge saddle lean a little bit, mm -hmm. keep this exactly where it is, but it would, it would bring this E string down, the high E string down. Just a hair. It might it might affect this one a little bit by the time you did, if I did it right, which I always do. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't affect your your bottom four strings. But there's always you can use shims. You can sand stuff down. There's there's a way to do pretty much whatever you want to customize it for your own playing style or whatever. But th this is the action on this is actually really good. Oh, good. Well, you um, probably don't really need to mess with it then. Right? No, not, yeah. not really. Unle unless you're, no, you're no, finding that. No, I've, I've, I found it was okay. Okay, yeah, and play nylon's always pretty playable. The other mm -hmm. thing you want to check is intonation. So if you play that 12th fret mm -hmm. harmonic, mm -hmm. and then they match. Mm -hmm. and, and you can use a tuner to really perfect mm -hmm. it. But th I, I can hear that that's... Mm -hmm. That's really good intonation. Uh, same up here. Oh, so cool. this is actually in really good shape. <clears throat> yeah, there's not really anything obstructing here. So I, mm -hmm. I could, you could choose, you could put in a special uh, strap button right here mm -hmm. that is also an input jack. Yeah. Or you could have a separate one down here. Yeah. The, the, uh, by the way, the strap buttons, that's, that's a 20-minute mm -hmm. job. Okay. So, um, all in all, I'd say if I ran into no problems mm -hmm. <laughs> whatsoever, probably be about a two to two and a half hour job. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, for the rest of 2003, mm -hmm. labor rate's 40 bucks an hour. So mm -hmm. two and a half hour, or that, that, that'd be an even hundred. Plus... Oh. The That's parts, and, and there's always there's always a little shop supply. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. Yeah. That, That's, you know, That's reasonable. That's great. Sandpaper and yeah. gl glue, anything else I have to use. It's, it's all kind of expensive. Even mm. these little, I don't really use these on guitars a whole lot, but for amplifiers, this can mm -hmm. canned air stuff. Yeah, expensive. It's like yeah. ten bucks a sure thing at the window. Um, but yeah, oh, okay. I got a really good look. Yeah, there's there's nothing. Mm -hmm. obstructing the yep. work that I would have to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in like Martins or Taylors, what is this? That's a har hmm. harmony. They got okay. the, the thing in there. All right. Um, yeah, some of the guitars, they, it's not, a, not an expensive guitar, but it's, it's, it's really sounds beautiful. Oh uh, yeah. You know, and, 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 and it's the way I, the way I tune it is, you know, down to, um, down to, C. down to C so I can play in G and stuff and play, you know, play uh, okay. that stuff that I, Yeah. Yeah, of course it's not a tune at the moment, but Okay, so it's like C standard. So so you're just down two whole stabs, basically. Yeah. Okay, cool. And it's well, still but it's still sound and it still doesn't sound muddy, you know, or it doesn't sound you know, it still sounds good, you know. Oh yeah, it sounds awesome. It, it, um do you know what gauge strings you use on these? Or uh, tension I think they use I, for now. I don't strings. I don't know. But whatever you put on it, you know, put something to whatever you think's the best, you know. Okay. Yeah, because I that, see these aren't too meaty. Yeah. So they're gonna stay stay bright. Mm -hmm. And when you're tuned down two steps, bright is actually pretty is a good right thing. down the center. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, the these notes are so bassy. Mm -hmm. If you had big fat warm strings on mm -hmm. them i mean yeah. that that would just that would mm -hmm. sound all washy and everything yeah. but i mean that, for certain styles of music you might be looking for that but yeah there's there's nothing in the way so mm -hmm. it would be a uh, hole there install the jack mm -hmm. you, you have to kind of use like uh you have to fish it through kind of how like when they mm -hmm. wire car stereos and mm -hmm. stuff um 
And then, yeah, it would be the amp here. Mm -hmm. A little battery pack on it. The wiring is real simple. Yeah. It's, it's much more simple than, mm -hmm. say, doing an electric guitar with mm -hmm. uh, with two humbuckers with the five-way mm -hmm. wiring and the push-pull yep. knobs and all that. It's very simple wiring, so yeah. Out in, without any problems, not not ex, not too expensive to just put the yeah. preamp and all that in there. Hundred bucks. Oh my God! Um, but plus plus the yeah, parts. Plus, yeah, plus the parts. Yeah, well, let's put it. It should charge me more than. Yeah, that. I'm not Santa Claus. I'm not. You charge me 150. Not. I won't mind or 200. I won't mind. But yeah. um, okay. And then if you whatever you, the thing is, is that the pickup has to be able to pick up the nylon strings. And I notice that's the that's the you know I don't know if we have some guitars that we have and Joe has the name of the pickup and stuff that they use, you know, but mm -hmm. I don't know if you, I don't know if you probably know what pickup would be the right pickup, you know. I actually do not get classical guitars in mm -hmm. here very often at all, mm -hmm. um, so I'm well, not too familiar with the specific. So do you want to give them the name of that that's on your guitar? Godin. Huh? Uh, Godin. Godin? Okay, I've heard of Godin. <clears throat> it's the one I've got on the other guitar. And that, it sounds okay. really good, too. I mean, it really picks up the sound. Okay. Yeah, you would just want something. It's going to have to be a little hot, so... I, did, have you had any like feedback issues? How you, you? This is live performance we're talking about. Yeah, we're right. We're gearing up for a show in January, so we've been just playing, you know, in the home studio. Obviously, no problem there. But okay. Um, yeah, we. But e even so, like the show we're doing, it's just the two of us up there. So mm -hmm. you know, I, I think it's hopefully it wouldn't be too bad as far as feedback. I, I would uh, I would do a dress rehearsal because <laughs> yeah. when you when you have the PA speakers and everything coming into play, it's um, it, it's uh, gets kind of right. wonky. Right. But oh. if it's a, if it's a good quality pickup, you'll be fine. Yeah. And also, it's just the two of you both playing acoustic instruments, right? Okay. Yeah, I, I've run into a lot of problems trying to get an acoustic w with a pickup on it to. Uh, keep up with uh, electric instruments and, and a drum kit, even if you're just using brushes or whatever. But if you guys are just doing two acoustic guitars, it's, it's you're much less likely to run into problems. Mm -hmm. So that's that's great. I'll start. I want you to do that. You know. Okay. A few days after meeting with Mike, he recommended some options for the new pickup and preamp. We ended up choosing the Fishman Precis. Stay tuned for a follow-up to this video where we go pick up the guitar and see how the new pickup sounds. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you can get notified when we post a new video. Thanks for watching.